Wow, crazy news with Tall Volcano. It's a place where me and Shirley went on our first date even together. Uh, it's a very special place to us and seeing this is, is it's kind of scary, you know, because it's a catastrophic volcano and and from my experience around these uh, volcanoes or these big ones is that in my backyard, in my home, we have a very similar seismic activities regarding the volcanoes and this could just be the start of it. What you're seeing right now it could be the beginning before the big explosion. Mm -hmm. So the ash that's coming out now, it's dangerous. You can't breathe it, or else you can, but you're supposed to be very careful. But um, it's the beginning, it could be, and we hope it doesn't happen, because if it explodes, this area around Tagai, 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 or is it there? Tagai, Tai, or Tagai, Tagai, Tagai. Tagai. Yeah, that's, you know, a very, very dangerous zone right now, so we're, Really hoping that doesn't happen and our thoughts and prayers are with all the people around there. And I've seen in the videos online that the fishermen, they're even still fishing there. Just someone needs to tell these people to get out of there like immediately. And I saw some of the pictures in Facebook that um, if you have any animal with you guys, please bring it. And our flight got canceled. We're supposed to go tomorrow to uh, Batanes, mm -hmm. but that has been delayed by at least two days and no Cebu Pacific, you know, they over 200 flights, they have to reschedule. So, uh, of course, you know, it's safety first. Then what happens, the reason why the airplanes are not flying right now and what they're going through the ash is that when it gets, sucks into the engine, it actually uh, becomes a liquid. It so heats up and then it becomes a glass inside the engine. And what it can't do is stop the engine. And what happens if an engine stops in the middle of a flight? It goes down, it crashes. And this has happened before. And uh, really? yeah, it has happened before and it's recorded a uh, time ago that it was in Indonesia. It was a documentary about it. That's as well, 2010 in my country, the whole Europe was grounded for like a week because of a volcano back home. And the same situation there, I actually hiked up the mountain when, before it happened. First there was like a, a beautiful lava fountain coming out and then two weeks later, boom, exploded. So this ash that's coming up now from tall volcano, it could last a couple of days and then it can actually stop and then it can explode again. So we, we just don't know. So if you're in that area, like I would, I would get the heck out of there, please. Like in Mount Pinatupo, there were so many people that, you know, stayed there. And then of course, you know, the catastrophic thing happened. A lot of people lost their lives. So I would just say if anyone watches this or anyone knows one living in that area, please go away. Like it's not worth it. It's really shocking and you know, it's scary as hell. Um, and as we know, that guy's such a, a memorable place for us with Finn and I because that's where, that's Finn's first time and that was our first. Yeah, of course, Filipina has yeah. to bring in, you know, corny no, things. It, it's not a corny <laughs> thing. It's like, it's for me, it's like a, such a good memory. Yeah, like, it, it is. And, uh, and the thing is, you know, when we were there, like we could so see... beautiful. The geothermal activity was yeah. so much gas and uh, steam and heat coming mm -hmm. and sulfur coming out of the ground even when we're walking there so it's kind of no surprising that it's erupting but now regarding the health issues uh, I'm quite familiar with these things from back home because we have eruption every five years or so I've been to this situation where our city is covered in ash for weeks and months and um, what you really need to do is the animals need to go inside they are not allowed to be outside. If you have asthma, those are the people with the highest risk. If you have asthma, coughing, the, that can get into your lungs and you know can be fatal. So stay inside, close your windows, seal everything because it's so fine that it can go through any crack. And as well, wear a mask when you go outside. Maybe the mask is not enough. Maybe use the goggles to cover your eyes. It's a good idea. Then of course, you should always uh, follow the local authorities. They give you the quickest and fastest update. Um, I'll link them, some of them down below that I watched from uh, our friends in Making It Happen vlog. I'll just copy those links, put them down there so you know what to uh, follow, to stay aware. Stack up some water, maybe some food supplies. Also, what we need to do now is a big prayer. Um, 
prayers for what's going on now for the disasters even in australia that big fire and now here in the philippines yeah, don't so know hopefully our batanas trip is gonna come up uh, yeah. soon they're gonna reschedule it by a couple of days yeah we just w really want to like i couldn't make a i have a very special video coming up soon and i just i couldn't upload it yet because while well, well, this is going on just have to let my thoughts out and talk a little bit about it get it off my chest it just feels so strange and weird to not talk about it and mention it while this is happening while we're living here in the philippines Normally, uh, when these things happen, I actually I like to go on the location and, and document some of it. I've done it before back home, but this one might be so big that you know no one is even allowed in a close radius. So, uh, and of course, no flights there. So uh, we'll just have to we'll just have to watch the news from here and then hope nothing uh, too crazy happens. And we need to think positive that everything's gonna be okay. So still, once again, prayers, prayers. So that is it. I just wanted to get that out of my chest. Quick video about that. And um, yeah, stay safe guys.